Hey traders, this is William and this is going to be another DOS Pro feature video. We're going to go over two hotkeys that a lot of you will start to use. They're really cool that maybe you didn't know exist, but you would have loved to have already been using them and how to get our vol relative volume on your DOS montage. In this case, we put it on the montage and that's another thing that BBT community has asked for for a while and DOS is pretty responsive. It takes them a little bit of time sometimes because they have to put in a new feature, but they usually add new features on request. So continue to request, continue to ask me, continue to ask your community because they're pretty responsive on that. So on the last video, if you haven't watched that, we'll link it below. There are some cool DOS tips and we had some nice, nice love from all of you guys. Thank you. And we had a lot of comments and questions. And I want to quickly go over some of those. Um, so Abhinas, I don't know how to pronounce that. Can you please share the two to one hotkey with $20 risk? We're going to do that right now in this video. Um, Simon, I'm not sure what you mean. Do you have the hotkey set up for the stop loss? Please ask that again and I will definitely answer it for you. Um, Ross, can you elaborate on your $17,000 loss? I will. I'll make a confessional video and share it with everyone. I will do that. Tom asks, how do you put stops like that in the first place? I'll share with you that at the very beginning here. Henderson, I trade with interactive brokers. And we just had more, more questions and comments that that's why I'm sharing you the break even hotkey, our vault, and this range order. So let's get into this video right now. Okay, so all these are SIM trades. This is my SIM account. They're not they're not real trades. I'm just practicing practicing these hotkeys so it can be clear for all of you. So first, you need to to enable this feature. You have to right click on the chart, click configure, make sure double click to trade is is clicked. Okay, hit OK, and then also right click on the chart, hit chart area, click configure area, make sure show orders is clicked, and this this just hides the quantity you can either click this or this it doesn't matter but you need to have show orders clicked okay so now we have the right features and you need to do that on every chart so first let's talk about our vol our vol is relative volume it share it shares with you how much volume what is the activity today compared to previous days and at that time of day okay compared to previous days so it's a really cool feature where if you know something has only a 58% R vol like JD does right now it means it's the volume is not especially high and there's not a bunch of activity compared to other days so if it's only 58% right now and you can see this volume bar on the day you see that compared to all these averages you know it's much less and that will change as the day goes on let's look at something like IMRN okay this again these are all sim trades just sim trades practicing these hotkeys this R vol is as high as it goes 50,000 and look at look at the uh, volume here so you can see you can't even see these volumes on the other day that's just enormous let's look at one more Tesla there Tesla is slightly higher than usual R vol of 108 percent a lot of prop firms and a lot of larger traders they only trade things that are more active and the R vol tells you if it's active or not super simple how DOS did this you need to make sure you have the most updated DOS right click usually you guys have VWAP so where it says VWAP here right click on that or whatever it says and then you have these options that you can click on you can try company name there you put Tesla there okay right click on it and then there's other options but we want Arval right there that's sharing with you the R vol and you can do that on each montage so you know what the relative volume is for this day at this time is really cool feature okay let's go to the hotkeys break even if already in a position so spy okay my entry was 3 12 13 okay let's say I am I'm happy with this I'm up 10 cents now if I'm wrong I don't want it to come back past my break even so I have a hotkey for that I simply double click on that montage I don't even have to double click on the chart I just double click on the montage click control E or sorry alt E and it just submitted an order for you can see it down here a hundred shares for a sell at 322.13 which is my average right so if i'm wrong it's or if this trade comes back against me i can simply click that break even hotkey and i am never going to be down on that trade so it's a really easy way to streamline it now 
Let's look on QQQ really quick because the same hotkey works for a short. Okay, so if I'm short, I'm short on QQQ24402, it's under that. I click on the hotkey, Alt E, same hotkey. Now it'll buy 100 shares for me. Okay, so it's a really, really great streamline. So you'll see if it hits 24402, it'll buy the shares. Now, what happens if you're long or short? and the trade is already against you and you click the break even hotkey well then it'll exit out your position automatically because the you are already past your break even so the criteria has already hit and then it'll exit your trade so if you click it when you're already down it's going to automatically exit the trade for you so let's look at the hotkey for that okay so go to setup hotkeys it's break even right here, Alt E, here it is. I will put this in the description for you, but you just you just copy it, put it in the script, put in your hotkey, name it, and that's all you do. It's the same hotkey, whether you're long or short, you don't need two different hotkeys. It will send the correct type of break even, whether you're long or short, and exit out your position. So you see right here on QQQ, I got out because it hit my break even of 244.02, so it exited the position for me. So lastly, let's look at this range order based on R and R. This one's really cool, really cool. So let's just stay on QQQ. Let's say I have 100 shares and I'm long. Now let's say I want to have a range order. My average cost is 249.93. My stop, I want it to be 243.83 to make it easy, 10 cents. I double click that chart. I do my hotkey, control N, and you can see this now sends a range order of a two to one R. If my R is 10 cents in this case, let me blow this up. You see, that hotkey sent it. It sent the stop of 243.82, which would be the 10 cents, or I might have misclicked it, 10 or 11 cents. And then it'll send the profit target at two times that, so 20 or 22 cents in this case. And now I've got my range order in, and you can see it on the chart, and you can see it right here. Type range 243.82, 244.15, two to one, okay? Super cool. Now in this case, we do need to have a different hotkey for longs and shorts. So let me just exit out of this. Now let me share with you another, I'm gonna share with you the short hotkey, but let's say I actually use my R hotkey. So let's say I think it's a short, it's not gonna break this. I double click on that. I get in with my control S, okay? So now it just got me 377 shares of this stock. So now my stop here is 244.16. I can double click on this chart again. Now hit my hotkey for a 2R for a short, and that is control L. Now I have the range order at the same hockey, I might have misclicked it again, 15 cents instead of 16, but you can see it just multiplies it. This is a 2R compared to my 1R loss, and then I just cancel my original stop. Does that make sense? So if I already have my R stop in there, I cancel it, and then I resubmit that range order hotkey really quick. And I'm gonna share with you how to change it. It can be a 2R, 3R, 5R, it can be a 10.5R, it can be whatever you wanna put in your hotkey. So the hotkeys will be down in the description, but set, set up hotkey. I'll share with you the long hotkey right here. Okay, so whether it's long or short, it's gonna look very similar to this. This is if you are long to put a range 2R, the only number you need to change is two, okay? This is 2R, now it's 4R, now it's 5R. Watch this, now it's 10.5R. Let's say you look for big winners, you want your winner to be 10.5R, you have that hotkey, control N. So let me just exit out of this. Okay, let's say I wanna get 100 shares. Okay, I want to have my stop, let's go in long here. I want my stop to be under this and I think I'm gonna get 10 R's on this if I'm right. So I click there, control N, and then you can see, let me look at the 60 minute, 
the daily chart because it's so high up here. You can see now it's a 10 R range order with my stop at 1 R, my profit target at 10 R way up there. So that's it, break even, range orders for long or short in Arval. And then I know there's some questions on alerts and some other things, and I'm talking with DOS about that. And again, that'll be in the next DOS video. So please continue to ask things. And it takes some time for me to get the response from DOS to answer the questions, but I will answer all of them. So thank you guys so much for, for uh, watching. And please ask any more questions and leave some comments. And we'll just learn more and more and more about DOS and get it to exactly where we all understand and want it to be. So thanks a lot, everyone.